First and ten for the Mustangs. They're wearing the white, White Bear Lake wearing the black. Dylan Wheeler in motion. Deep pass, and the first play from scrimmage is going to be a big one for Moundsview and number 82, Tyler Nystrom. Moundsview is going to attempt a field goal, 41 yards from the left hash mark. Number 33, Ben Samuel. With the kick, it's up, and it is no good. First and 10 from the 29. Warp, three-step drop, another deep play for Nystrom. Wheeler, I should say, Rask makes the catch, and he is going all the way to the end zone. Touchdown. One-on-one -on -one coverage, Rask got by his defender and catches in on a 71-yard touchdown throw from Owen Warp. We noted it, we didn't exactly know what to expect for the first win. Meanwhile, White Bear Lake comes in and the defense picks up a sack. Chris High brings down Owen Wark. Wark hands it off to Antoine Vaz. Vaz with plenty of room on the right side. He will run out of bounds. A huge third down conversion. Wark. Step drop, going deep once again. The pass is complete. The deep game paying deep dividends for the Mustangs. Tyler Nystrom gets Moundsview into the red zone for the first time. Moundsview hoping to shelter another touchdown. If they can help it, they have first and goal from the eight yard line. Vaz to the right of war. Vaz looking left. The pass is caught. Dylan Wheeler called in the catch. Remember in high school, you only need one foot in bounds. It was tough to tell from here. And that is a Mounds View touchdown. Merrill with his screen pass to Lockwood. He breaks his first defender and Lockwood will get the first down and plenty more. This time the play is clean. They fake the reverse, Garrell. Under pressure, finds Lockwood, who breaks his defender. Down the right sideline, to the 20, the 10. See you later. Touchdown, White Bear Lake, no flags. A 59-yard connection, and White Bear Lake is on the board. Gives White Bear Lake renewed vigor. High snap, too high. And Moundsview just has to fall on it. White Bear Lake will take over at the 13 yard line. Darrell under center, feeds it to Lewis Royal. He's looking to turn left. Lewis Royal lunges forward for the touchdown. The second effort produces six for the senior. They have to score again if they want to take the lead. Carroll looks, has plenty of time. The pass is complete and taking a tumble, but not before picking up a big first down as Ray Sean breaks. Lewis, that's not Lewis Royal, that's 33. Matt Sloan, who will pick up another big chunk of yards as he's run out of bounds. Second and nine, and I thought I heard a firework go off. This is Brakes, looking to turn the corner on the reverse. Not only does he turn the corner, he turns it in for six. Touchdown, White Bear Lake on the reverse from the speedy Sean Brakes. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. That's Lewis Royal. Got away from the first tackler. No signal yet. He's in. Lewis Royal just kept churning. Second and 32, first and 32, not the time to force it. He hands it to Vaz, who will look to pick up some of that yardage lost as he runs through holes up the middle past the original line of scrimmage. And Vaz, who had struggled up to this point, gets the ball to the 40-yard line. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Nanzi will go for it on fourth down. Ward 
Got a man open, the pass is tipped, and it's caught! Touchdown! Whoa! White Bear Lake had the tip, but Tyler Nystrom spots the ball, keeps it off the ground, and Moundsview can take the lead on the PAT. They fight off two penalties. And are an extra point away from retaking the lead. And it hits the post! That's insane! Second and 10 for Wark. Looking to go up the middle, and he finds his man in Dylan Wheeler, who is still on his feet, breaking tackles. Now he's got a lane on the right side. He's past midfield and run out of bounds. I think White Bear Lake would want to be a few more yards downfield before they consider that. But here we go, third and nine. Lockwood with the lateral, the brakes! Breaks down the right sideline. The hook and ladder. That changes the strategy. Third and goal. Now White Bear Lake will look for a passing play here. They still have a timeout left. Nope, they're going to go to Brakes instead, and Brakes cuts inside for the score! So barring a defensive penalty, this is it. Get ready for a Hail Mary. Three receivers to the right, one to the left for War. He's got plenty of protection. He's going to throw deep, and the pass incomplete. He was a little short of the end zone anyway. Hunter Rast, the intended receiver, and White Bear Lake storming the field. We've got someone doing backflips on the field, and... Somewhere in that mass of insanity is a happy White Bear Lake team. 26-20. They come back from 14-0 down.